Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jessica Yick, the Dancing Avon Lady, and today we're trying on some makeup! <laughs> So you see I have my little helper here, Ginevra. Say hi. Hi. We, uh, well, mostly mommy. We are doing a new product launch, which is happening in right now, campaign 14, of the new makeup line, the FMG Glimmer Shadows. Both of the quads, the gel shadows, and the gel liners. It is Awesome. So the majority of these products were actually sent to me through the Avon Content Creator Program. So the majority of them are PR samples, but I'm going to give you guys my own personal opinion on them because you guys know how much I love playing with makeup. I love playing with makeup. I love you. I'm gonna unbox these for you guys today. I want to do a swatch of a couple of the quads and then I'm going to do a makeup look trying out probably just one of the quads so you can see with one quad what what kind of cohesive look you can get or at least what kind of cohesive look I'm going to try to get and we're gonna move on from there. I'll probably also end up using the Tornado, the one that Avon sent me um, as a liner because I loved gel liners. Then I fell in love with liquid liners which I've been using the Face Shop's co Gold Collagen liquid liner but we are going to try this one today which is in tornado to do a simple slight wing because my my winging skills still need some work i already have my base done i have my foundation and today what i used is i used the magic tint in brightening uh in light medium as well as for concealer i used the magic wand in vanilla and then i finished it off with the cashmere complexion compact powdered foundation in n120 just under my eyes and a little bit on my t-zone just to kind of help calm down the shine and also help to just kind of set the con uh, the concealer a little bit lips and everything else is naked so let's take a look at first the quads the four that avon sent me included idol darling muse and mistress which one should we open first boy this one this one okay so this one is called darling i love the packaging i mean i spoke about the packaging earlier uh in my last video where uh, i unboxed these for the first time and oh my gosh these are fabulous the the box itself is super soft it almost has a slight velvety texture to it it is be able to feel it oh isn't that nice I like the pretty color. she likes the pretty colors because it is kind of shiny and shimmery so let's open these beauties up. All right, okay, okay, okay. All right. It's makeup, baby girl. <gasps> Whoa, look at this. Wow, that is hot. Is that nice, Monkey? So this one is in the quad darling. Ooh, that's really pretty. So it's there's like a little bit of pink, there's a purple, and there's like a bit of a mauve. There's one more matte color, and then these three are more of a shimmer. How pretty is that quad? And then it comes with a little uh, sponge applicator. Holy wow. This sponge applicator is insanely soft. Oh, Isn't it so nice? Soft. So soft, right? It feels almost like a microfiber. And then the next one. How about the top one? This will be a mommy daughter video. This one is called Idol. And so this of uh, this particular collection, guys, it does come in ten different color combinations, varying from very nice nudes all the way to it looks like almost like a silver nude uh, blue color. This one again is called Idol. Ooh, this is like a nude. That's pretty. This would be a really great every day, or if you like a very light, natural makeup look, this will be perfect for you. Then, this one is Mistress. Oh, this one is gonna be, ooh. This has like deep plums, mauves, golds. Wow. It almost looks blue in the camera, but it, to me it looks more like a plummy purple. Very pretty. It's almost like a really deep plum with a little bit of like iridescent blue sparkles to it. And last one that Avon sent me is this one here, which is the one in Muse. <gasps> Whoa, this one's very pretty. This one's very romantic looking. Look at that. I took out the applicator, but yeah. I like this one because it's like it's my favorite color. This one actually has three mattes and one shimmer. I did order one more set for myself, and this was before I knew I was gonna get a bunch of them from Avon. This one's called Vixen, and it was a shade that I really wanted to try, like a combination that I really want to try. And then I'm gonna let you never pick my color for today. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. 
So this would be like a gorgeous smoky eye look. This one has like the blues, the steel color, the glitter from the shimmery, the shimmery grays. This one's really gorgeous. I really like this one. This is very dramatic. It does come in varying different types of colors. Every anywhere from like your super neutrals to a really dramatic smoky eye. So I am really excited for these. For the FMG quads, like I say, they do have really complimentary shades. You can either play around with using just one particular quad, or you can mix and match, which is something that I really like to do to really kind of personalize my look for the day. I love playing with makeup, and um, I've actually been doing it a lot more since <laughs> since working from home I've been doing a lot more playing with makeup when I when I have the chance to but for these one in particular it's supposed to be a creamy soft powder that is buildable and it has starts off with a medium to full coverage uh, the finish there is a variety of um, either the shimmer the satin or the matte depending on which combination that you get it it all depends on the quads and so there is really something for everybody I don't know why she's making these faces <laughs> Are you having fun though? Watching Mama? You can go do something else if you want. <laughs> She's such a monkey. These are great because they're so easily transportable too. I can take a quad, put it in my bag, and then off I can go for the day for touch-ups or I can use it later on. Uh, like if I'm, when we can travel again for traveling and things like that. Now we're going to move on in to the gel shadow and liner. I've used gel shadow and liner before. The gel sh shadows, I haven't had a lot of luck with. I mean, the last one that I bought was called Fascinate. I really liked it as a liner, but not quite as much as a shadow. I felt like it wasn't quite pigmented enough. However, I've been hearing rave reviews over this new line, so I'm really excited for it. Like I say, I did really love the gel as a liner, and I've used gel liners before, and that's how I actually started playing with wing wing liners, is with a gel liner, and I loved it. Then we discontinued the gel liners, so then I got into a liquid liner, and now I'm going back to gel, so I'm excited to try that out. The gel liners, there are four different gel liners and four different gel shadows. I have here to show you guys the three that Avon sent me includes two shadows, Shadows, Firefly and Bronze Butterfly. So let's open these ones up now. Again, the boxes, beautiful packaging. Ooh, this actually turned out darker than I thought. So this one is the Bronzed Butterfly. I thought it was going to be a little bit lighter, but it's pretty. It is really pretty. And so it looks like it has almost like a bit of a satin finish. So it's not a matte finish. If you haven't yet, follow me on Facebook and Instagram so that you can see me play with this all week long. Ooh, this is the Firefly. Actually, you know what? In the brochure, it looked a little bit more orangey. Here is not, not very orangey at all. This actually might be a really nice nude color. Huh, I don't smell a thing. What I got from Avon for the gel liner is in Tornado. Ooh, this is gonna be nice and dramatic. Check that out. It's, Tornado is just pure black, but look at that. That is gonna be super drama. Love it. Yeah, it really smooth. It does look very smooth. The gel liners can also be used as shadow if you really want to. And I probably would even use the gel shadows as a liner if I wanted to. And you can mix and match. Now, I did end up buying two on my own, again, previously before I knew that we were going to get it. And that is in the liner. I got it in Windswept. Oh, that is a gorgeous shade of purple. That is stunning. And then the other one that I got is an electric jellyfish which was the one that won in my quick tell me what to buy question on my facebook beauty page and this is also going to be stunning but this one actually looks a little bit darker than i thought it was going to be but it's still a very gorgeous blue color this will look lovely as a liner too it's just like a really nice statement liner so beautiful. So this is my haul. I have in total five quads, three sh gel shadows, and two gel liners. I'm going to have enough makeup to play with for the entire summer, if not more. So let's start trying this out on my face. Ginevra decided that she wanted mummy to do this one here, which is the quad in Mistress. So what I am going to do is I'm going to swatch these on my arm for you, and then we're going to try a makeup look. So there's a lot of shiver shades. I think they're all actually not even quite satiny. They are just all shiver shades, which is fine. We'll play with the look with that. First off, this is the lightest shade here. Ooh, it's really, really, really soft. And here I am just swatching with my finger. And so that is super duper duper light. Just see a little bit of the 
peachiness. So it's almost like a peachy color. It's almost like a peachy color with a little bit of a gold hint to it. It's almost like fairy dust. Next one here, we're gonna do this brown color. Ooh, oh, this is like super bronzy. I can definitely see that more. Third one here is this gorgeous color. Look at that, wow. Ooh, that's dark. You can see they all have a bit of a shimmer and shine to it. And the final one is this. Hey guys, all right, I'm editing the video and I just noticed that I actually swatched the last one twice. So the final swatch is actually isn't correct, but you're gonna see it on my face afterwards. Now back to our regular programming. All right, let's put this on my face. Now the disclaimer is I am not a makeup artist. I am just someone who loves to play with makeup. This will basically be your non-professional makeup lover look. <laughs> so it does come with a little applicator that I showed you earlier and so we are going to use this as part for part of the application uh, and then if I need to I'll use another brush after that. For the liner I'm going to end up using today the Tornado I think. Let's start off with this one here. So I'm going to use this one as my base and then this one as like a contouring highlighter and then more shadowing there. This color is gorgeous like look at that guys how beautiful is that? I feel it's really pigmented. I'm not used to using a sponge applicator, to be honest with you. I usually use a brush. But I think the sponge actually makes it a little bit more pigmented. It goes on really, really super smooth. Now we're gonna take a little bit of that color. Let's go underneath. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the this lighter color here, and I'm gonna use this just in the center. And I'm gonna blend everything afterwards. And I'll put the inside corner of my eye. I'll take the smaller side here. How pretty is this purple? the outer V. I think I might have to end up using my brush because I think I'm more used to that. I gotta go back to the brush. Sorry guys. I tried, I tried, I tried. I love this brush. It's one of my favorite brushes. Dab it in that purple. Yeah. Oh, much better. Share Avon, we need more brushes. You need to come up with a lot of brushes so I can just use Avon brushes. Go back to this one here. and I'm gonna actually use that one underneath. Ooh, how pretty is that yet? Oh, I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. So you see how there's that shimmeriness to it too, right? To my brow bone just a little bit. And the other confession, guys, I have is that I never do my brows. The only thing I ever do is curl my brows because I honestly, I don't know what to do with them. The when I do my brows, they always end up looking like super angry caterpillars, like... <sighs> So this is literally all I ever do to my brows. I should make that a challenge for myself to learn how to do my brows. Ooh, it's very pretty. And then I'm going to use the gel liner in Tornado. This is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I can't get over how gorgeous it is. So I haven't done gel liner in forever. A little bit nervous, not gonna lie. I have this liner brush. I actually have, this one is my favorite one, or was my favorite one when I used to use it, which was the Mark one, but I guess I didn't wash it very well last time, and now I messed it up. So I'm gonna try this one, which is not my favorite one, but we're going to see how it works. We're gonna do a swatch of it first on my arm, but look at this, oh my god. It, it makes me sad that I'm going to ruin it. Not ruin it, but it's just, it's so perfectly smooth. But here we go. I'll load this beauty up. <gasps> Whoa, that's actually quite pigmented. Okay. All right. Don't make a mistake, Jess. <laughs> it's supposed to be very long lasting and long wearing. It's been a minute and a half since I used gel lighter, so I am a little bit nervous. All right, this is with one pass. Not bad, not bad. Okay, I think it's also because I got so used to a super liquid liner that this just doesn't feel very wet. But if I remember correctly, this is pretty much what a gel liner feels like. I'm gonna load it up again and do another coat. I do you like how it is a matte finish? All right, it's quite pretty. Let's do the other side now. They're not quite even, but that's okay. It's a work in progress, guys. Seriously, it's a work in progress. I wish it could be like eyebrows where uh, they're sisters, not twins. Wing liners need to be more like twins. I'm gonna leave it at that before I mess it up more. I love the shadow. The shadow is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, wow. The gel liner is okay. I think for a gel, it's really nice. I think I'd want it to be a little bit more wet, to be honest with you, but we're going to play around with it for the next couple of weeks. Yeah. 
or I just gotta work on my game. Love, 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 love the shadow. Okay, let me think about the liner for a minute or two. Let me get everything done, and then I'll think about the liner. Yeah, I want it to be a, to be a little bit more wet, just a smidge. But I think I was also just so used to how wet the collagen liner is. That could be it. All right. Final thing that we're gonna do for my eyes, and that is mascara. Did you know that if you have super straight lashes like I do before I curl them, waterproof mascara actually will help keep the curl with, from your curler better than regular mascara. So waterproof it is now i don't always use waterproof mascara because i also heard it dries out your lashes a little bit faster so i do kind of switch between both of these but this is, it is a beautiful formula this is the love of first lash waterproof mascara in black is black mm. this shadow is great okay once i put on the mascara i love the look so much more i think that it's just the line is softer than what i've been doing so maybe that's just what's taking me a minute or two to get used to i'm gonna do my cheeks and my lips off camera so i'll be right back all right guys and this is the finished look finished it with the vdl creamy stick jelly in flowage and then i used the fmg glimmer lipstick in both hibiscus and sierra sunset which are my two favorite combinations oh my gosh i love them and this is the final look now that i have the everything all put together love 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 the whole look it is kind of like gently smoky it's super pretty the colors blended so well together and the lines now that I, uh, after i took a closer look to it with the gel it's a softer line as opposed to a really striking bold wing look which is still you know it has its, it has its place in my makeup world <laughs> it is very pretty yeah oh my gosh and what i did end up doing off cam is that i did end up taking this purple shade and I used a liner brush and I just went under my lower lash line just a little bit just to kind of balance the eye out a smidge and I think I personally think that the effect looks pretty darn awesome so thank you Avon for sending me all these goodies I love it it's so pretty very comfortable doesn't feel cakey at all and the gel it's very comfortable also as a liner like I don't feel heaviness or anything or cakiness which is really nice and I did totally do like two layers of the gel liner so I did build it up a little bit so if you guys are interested in finding the entire new collection of the FMG glimmer eyeshadow line in either the gel format or in the quads make sure you do click the e-star link down in the description box below and if you guys are new to this channel hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification I have new videos up every single week and you never want to miss one of those. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next one. Bye!